Hello and welcome back to this edition of Daily Actives brought to you by Bootleg Macro. I'm Dustin. We are looking at Roblox, which is the most active stock on Yahoo Finance today, down 21.94%. I can only hope that there was a true catalyst associated to this and it wasn't some sort of like short hit piece. I'm hoping that this had something to do with true earnings because if you get a move like that and then there's actually bad things going on, oof, yuck, this is not a great situation. We see the price is at $29.46. Obviously, yesterday it was at $37.74. Yuck, what a terrible day. The one thing that I do find to be really interesting is that yesterday we had a breakout in volume the day before. So somebody knew something, even though we were up on the day, we were, we were up 37 basis points. There's 13 million shares traded, which was the highest amount of shares traded since it looks like the middle of July. We did have 57 million shares traded today. I don't know the last time that Roblox had over 50 million shares traded. I don't think it's been ever, even as I'm rolling back all the way, you can see in this column right here. I don't think the last time was in February when they had over 50 million shares traded. February 15th, the day after Valentine's Day. Hearts have been broken months and months later because, wow, this is ugly. And when we look, what I can see is that essentially volatility is starting to rise. We had the bottom in volatility right here. We had a breakout, looks like on the 4th, the 7th, the 8th. And now it looks like volatility is going to start rising. We do have on the one day, the five day, the 15 day, the one month, the three month, the six month, we've all just got negative, which is really ugly to see. We can see that on the signal here, we are short, we are go short on the short term, intermediate term, and longer term. When it comes to the trend indicator, we are bearish on the short term, intermediate term, and longer term. Yuck. We will look at the sentiment here. Now, what's surprising to me about Roblox so far is that if you look at this chart, we really don't see sentiment really having like a big down move, which means that there's so much more that could happen. Now, let's look at the trading signals. The trading signals for Roblox, no surprise, it gave a sell signal at $37.91. It also gave a sell signal at $36.68. It gave the big bear, it gave the small bear. You had confirmations left and right, as well as you can see, we had a bear key three on January 31st, or on July 31st, excuse me, you had six of the signals that were outweighing. When it gets red like that, that means it is a very important signal to pay attention to, especially if it's in, co in connection with a sell signal and these uh, sentiment indicators. Now, we will look at the overall charts because I want to get an indication of where this has been going. Essentially, it's been range bound. While this is sad to see the move that we saw today, this thing has not even broken the lows of the past nine months. This chart goes all the way back to January of 2022. Obviously, we're in the middle of August. I guess this is about eight months or so. I just cannot believe personally that this chart has moved this little in this amount of time and there is that much volume. That means that a lot of people have been holding Roblox for a very long time, probably institutions, which tells you even more about why you don't see any of this sentiment really moving higher or lower. If you watch my previous video today on Tesla, even on Palantir, you're going to see a, a completely different look in the sentiment indicator because it just isn't, this isn't really a good look. I mean, the volume, this is the highest volume, just like I said, this is the highest volume that we've seen going back nine months. Like the last time we were talking about was February 15th, the day after Valentine's Day. This is the highest volume on a down move of that of that size. Terrifying. I am so happy I had nothing to do with this and I was not a part of this at all. But again, this is not financial advice. We're looking at the price correlation to the volatility. Like I said, volatility has been breaking out since the third. The correlation is slightly positive, but it's kind of falling. I'll be really curious to see what happens in Roblox over the next few days here. You could get a pop, you could get a drop, you could get a yuck. Is that a bad look? I mean, essentially what we saw was the trade range was starting to expand because the volatility was breaking out and the volatility range was not even close enough to enough for the type of move that was expected. I mean, Roblox, even on the ultra fast sentiment indicator really isn't showing much life, but tell me what you think in the comments below. Are you long? Or are you short? Do you like it? Do you love it? Is this even a good review? And before you go, subscribe to the new high newsletter. We give you 25 stocks to your inbox every single Sunday for free that are breaking out, hitting 52-week highs and new highs. Go get yourself some. I'll talk to you soon.